Welcome to the video lecture series of the course Mechatronics for the students of 5th semester diploma in Mechanical Engineering. Now we are in unit 3 actuation systems. Myself Pavitra Kumariam, lecturer in the department of Mechanical Engineering in Government Polytechnic, Bantwad. Before starting this session 3, we will have a quick review about the topics we have discussed in session 2. In previous session, we have already discussed about the MOSFETs and solenoids and we have seen what are motors and we have also discussed what are the classification of motors and we have illustrated the working of brush type DC motors. Now we will see the objectives of today's presentation. On completion of this session, you will be able to classify brush type DC motors with field coils and you are going to understand the various types of brush type DC motor with field coils and you are also going to illustrate the working of AC motors and in that AC motors we have several categories single phase induction motor, three phase induction motor and synchronous motor and finally you will be able to identify the fields of applications of AC motors. Now we will begin the session with brush type DC motor with field coils. Brush type DC electric motor is an internally commutated electric motor designed to be run from a direct current power source. And the e type of motor is e DC power source in the run agwanta ondu electric motor. Illi nao field coil gadana nodu bodu. These field coils are nothing but electromagnets which are used to generate the required magnetic field in the motor. They consist of coils of wire through which current flows. The field coils are bound on an iron magnetic core which guides the magnetic field lines. Now, in the diagram, the outermost part is the frame. That is the projected part. The projected part is the projected part. The iron magnetic core is the form. The projected part is the pole shoe. That is the winding. That is the field coils. This field coils through Required current in passagate, the current passag by kadre, required magnetic field and produce madate. A magnetic field lines and a guide madu kelasavana in middle lironta iron core madate. Aderiti central lero part and an avo rotor and takaritivi, which is connected to the output shaft. Now we will see what are the various types of brush type DC motors. So depending on the connectivity between the field coil windings and the armature conductor windings, we have various types of brush type DC motors. The first one is the series wound motor and second one is called the shunt wound motor and finally the combination of these two is called compound wound motor and we also have one more category separately excited motor in which there will be separate supply for field coils as well as for the armature conductors. Firstly, we will start the discussion about the series wound DC motor. As the name implies, here the field winding is connected internally in series to the armature winding. Now we will note both the diagram field coil winding in the series armature coil winding to the connect thus the field windings are exposed to the entire armature current armature through a full current pass a full current field coil through no pass a because you know series only connect the field coils of DC series motor are wound with relatively fewer turns as the current through the field is its armature current and hence for the generation of magnetic field less number of turns are required. 
the wire is heavier as the diameter is considerably increased to provide minimum electrical resistance to the flow of full armature current illi navu eradu amshagalanna gamanisbekagide enandre field coils galalli less number of turns irutte yakandre adra through full armature current pass agodrindagi kadme number of turns indane namage required magnetic field anna generate maadlikke sadhya agutte ade riti ಆ ವೈರ್ಗಳದು ಡ್ಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರೇಬಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫುಲ್ ಆರ್ಮೇಚರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಆಫರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ವೈರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮ ಡ್ಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಲೆಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರೇಬಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹೆವಿಯರ್ ವೈರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ now we will see the speed torque characteristics of a series wound dc motor firstly the series motor is a variable speed motor speed sharply falls with the increase in torque for smaller values of load now illi graph allu kuda nodabodu speed thumba sharp agi kadme aagtane hogutte yavaga torque illa load jaasti agutto avaga but at higher loads the speed drops slowly with increasing torque jaasti load iddaga speed drop agodu solpa kadme agutte increasing torque jothege series motor develops very high starting torque so one of the important characteristics of series wound dc motor is high starting torque adakarana adanna naavu high starting torque bekadanta application galalli use maadlikke sadhya agutte ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಗಳು ಅಂತ ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಎ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟಾರ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಯಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೆವಿ ಮಾಸಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ರೈಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾಲೀಸ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಶಂಟ್ ವಾಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ here the field windings are shunted to or are connected in parallel to the armature winding of the motor diagram allu kuda navu idanna nodabodu series wound motor ginta vyathyasthavagi illi armature coil matte field coil galu parallel agide andre adanna navu shunt wound dc motor anta karithivi since they are connected in parallel the armature and field windings are exposed to the same supply voltage ನಮಗೆ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಒಂದು ಮೋಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಎರಡು ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ತ್ರೂ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕೂಡ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಕಾರಣ ಆರ್ಮೇಚರ್ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಪವರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಪವರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ಮೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಶನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿನ್ ವೈಯರ್ to increase the magnetic field strength and limit the current through the coil illi eradu parallel agi correct agiro karana navu armature current full current pass aagbeku anta helidre field coil alli pass aguvanta current anna minimize maadbekagutte adikoskara navu thin wire anna field coil alli use maartivi adrindagi adara resistance jaasti agutte but required magnetic field generate aagbeku anta helidre namige jaasti number of turns bekagutte hagagi ಫೈನಲಿ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ಬಟ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಥಿನ್ ವೈರ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಡಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಟಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶಂಟ್ ವಾಂಗ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ ದಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಮೇಚರ್ ಎಟ್ ಫುಲ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ drop in speed from no load to full load is very small illi torque jaasti aagta iddage speed alli iruva variation is very very less ada karana for all practical purposes the shunt wound dc motor is taken as a constant speed motor shunt motors develop lesser starting torque compared to series motor series motor ge compare madidre starting torque ಈ ಶಂಟ್ ವಾಂಗ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೀಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಿಫ್ಯುಗಲ್ ಪಂಪ್ಸ್ 
weaving machines, lathe machines, blowers, fans, conveyors, etc. Munde, the error the combination agi baronta on the type of DC motor na rona. This is called compound wound DC motor. It consists of both series and shunt field coils connected to the armature winding. Previous agi eno error ritiya dantha na motor galan na nodi devo. Adar error the combination agi na vili compound wound DC motor ali field coil na nodi bodo. Series agu parallel agu kuda i field coil armature coil jote connect agi ratte. DC compound motor is a combination of both shunt wound and series wound DC motors. Now we will see what are the various subcategories of this compound wound DC motor. So based on the connection of field winding with respect to the armature winding, we have long shunt compound motor and short shunt compound motor. Yavariti field winding matte armature winding connectivity ide anudra mele vesagi na Long shunt motor, matte short shunt motor, aginta yerdo ritiya danta compound wound DC motor na categorize mar bodo. Adhe ritiya ki based on the excitation or nature of compounding, again we have two types: cumulative compound motor and differential compound motor. Now we will see. Speed torque characteristics of this compound one motor. Any suitable characteristic can be obtained by suitably designing the number of shunt field turns and or number of series field turns in the DC compound motor. Now, we have to the characteristics of this compound one motor. We have to the number of shunt field turns and the number of series field turns. We have to control the number of shunt field turns. Series wound motor ke hatra wagir onta characteristics anna padi liksa dere. Adai riti shunt wound motor ke hatra wagir onta characteristics anna kuda padi likhe sad dere. Haga ke naavili speed torque characteristics ali bere bere riti aranta curve garanda kaan bodo number of windings in shunt matte series anna nau control maro dromu khan hatra wagir namige yawa riti aranta characteristic beko anna dana namige pad padi likhe sad dere. The compound motor has the advantage of high starting torque. And efficient speed regulation. Shunt motors develop lesser torque, starting torque compared to series motor. A compound wound motor and one thadu, Yeradu series motor, Mate, shunt wound motor, Yeradu combination and advantage and combination at the Golate Hagagi, higher starting torque, Sigatanamige, efficient speed regulation, Sigate. Shunt motors develop lesser starting torque compared to series motors. ये मोटर गड़ा ना ना वो ड्राइवर सली, एलिवेटर सली, स्टैम्पिंग प्रेस गड़ा ली, रोलिंग मिल गड़ा ली, मिक्सर्स, रेसिप्रोकेटिंग मशीन्स मतलब मेटल शेयर गड़ा ली नोट बो दो। Now we'll move on to the discussion about separately excited DC motor. The supply is given separately to the field and armature. Windings. In the field coil, the armature coil is separate. The supply is the same. The voltage is the same. The relationship is the same. Both in shunt wound DC motor and separately excited DC motor, field is separate from constant voltage so that the field current is constant. Separately excited motor is the Shunt wound motor is the Field ge, field current ge, separate agi supply na kudodra mukhantra wagi na wo sub uh, work maro drinda ge, yerdra lo kuda similar characteristics na na wo nor bodo. Therefore, these two motors have similar characteristics. We can obtain very accurate speed by using separately excited DC motor. Inle armature coil matte field coil. मध्य यावदे रीति आरंभना कनेक्टिविटी इल्ल दे येरोत्र कारण दिन दागे ना मिगे इडन ना एक्यूरेट अन्ना एक्यूरेट आगे स्पीड अन्ना कंट्रोल मार्ड लिके साध्य आगते। डीस मोटर्स आर यूज्ड इन स्टील रोलिंग मिल्स, पेपर मशीन्स, डीजल इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोपल्शन ऑफ शिप्स एक्सेट्रा। 
here the speed is controlled by varying the source voltage to armature so armature ikkodanta source voltage anna control madadra mukantaravagi nave illi speed anna regulation madlikke sadhya agutte adu jothege generally a variable resistance is provided with the armature to vary the armature resistance so illi armature alli ondu variable resistance anna provide madirtivi aa variable resistance undu value anna change madadra mukantaravagi kuda namage illi armature current anna control madlikke adara through namage speed anna kuda regulate madlikke sadhya agutte ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋ ಟು ಬೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಟೈಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಸ್ಯೂಟೇಬಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಮೇಚರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಆರ್ಮೇಚರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿನು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ now we will see what are alternating current motors or ac motors an ac motor is an electric motor driven by an alternating current ac supply mukantaravagi work aguvanta electric motor anna naavu ac motor anta karithivi the ac motor commonly consists of two basic parts ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಎರಡು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟೇಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಯಿನ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎ ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಎ ಸಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರ ಮುಖಾಂತರವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ತರ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ರೋಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಎ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಈ ರೋಟರ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಸ್ಟೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುವಂತಹ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂದ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮುಖಾಂತರವಾಗಿ ಅದು ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಆ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ಗೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಗಿ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡುವ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ಇದು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಟೂ ಮೈನ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ one is called the induction motors and the other category is called synchronous motors the induction motor yav rithi work agutte annadanna nodona so an induction motor is the simplest and most rugged electric motor consisting of wound stator and rotor assembly so induction motor annantadu it is the simplest of all electrical motors matte idanna naavu ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೋಮ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಕಂಡು ಬರುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಮೋಟರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೋಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಎ ಸಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟರ್ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಅನ್ನ ಸ್ಟೇಟರ್ ಗೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಸ್ಟೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂದಾಗಿ ರೋಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇ ಎಂ ಎಫ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಬರುವ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಈ ಮೋಟರ್ಗೆ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಿನಾಮಿನ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಮೋಟಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ರೊಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆನಿಮೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅವಾಗ ಅದು ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದನ್ನ
to form complete electric circuits. Now, in the diagram, we will note that in the rotor part, in the shape spiral cage, the rotor part, we will note spiral cage rotor. In the spiral cage rotor, the copper and aluminium bar will be there. ये आ स्लॉट के लिए आउट प्रोवाइड मार्ग इतना रहे अल्ले आ बार गड़न ना आउट नोड बोधो अदर जो ते के आ येरोडो बार गड़ द एंड गड़े नी दे अदो येरोडो सेड अल्ल कोड़ा एंडरिंग सल्ले होगी फिट आ गत्ते अदर इन दागे आ इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट अन्न वंत दो कंप्लीट आ गत्ते there are no external electrical connections to the rotor. Now we will see the DC motor in the separate and the AC motor in the separate. Rotor is the same as the external electrical connection or the supply. The basic motor consists of this rotor with a stator having a set of windings. Now we will see the end view in the middle of the conductor in the rotor. वरगड़े यारों साइड अलग कोड़ना वो स्टेटर पोल गड़ना नोड बोधो हाँ गो स्टेटर वाइंडिंग गड़ना कोड़ा नोड बोधो स्टेटर ऑफ़ द सिंगल फेस इंडक्शन मोटर हैज लैमिनेटेड स्टैम्पिंग टू रिड्यूस एडी करंट लॉसेस ऑन इट्स पेरिफरी सो ये स्टेटर पार्ट नोड़ो दादरे अदर ली अदु कंटिन्यूअस लॉरेट पार्ट तरह ना मिगे वरगड़े अपेरेंस कंड्रो सहा वरगड़े अदु एक्चुअली लैमिनेटेड तुम्बा नंबर ऑफ प्लेट्स इन द फॉर्म आगे रहते हैं यहाँ के एरिया ते आगे लम लैमिनेटेड स्टैम्पिंग अन्ना मार्टा रहने के लिए इन आर्डर टू रेड्यूस दी एडी करंट लॉसेस द इधर इतिहास ना लैमिनेटेड स्टैम्पिंग करवाने ता स्टेटर ले ना उस स्लॉट गड़ा ना नोट बोलो आ स्लॉट गड़ा ले एक्चुअली स्टेटर वाइंडिंग्स और मेन वाइंडिंग्स पास आ गए व्हेन एन अल्टरनेटिंग करंट पासस थ्रू द स्टेटर वाइंडिंग्स एन अल्टरनेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इस प्रोड्यूस्ड या करंट अन्ना सप्लाई मोगा अंतरा पास मरते हो ना वो अवागा अदो रिक्वायर्ड अल्टरनेटिंग मैग्नेट as a result of electromagnetic induction, EMFs are induced in the conductors of the rotor and current flows in the rotor. Agagi, staterly produce agadantha yeno alternating magnetic field ide, adrindagi, rotor irlirunta conductor lokuda, undo induced EMF generate agate, i EMF indagi, current kuda flow aglike, start agate, adre rotor ge aude agantha external electric supply irodilla. A number of methods are used to make the motor self-starting. One is to use an auxiliary starting winding to give the rotor an initial push. Now, we will see induction motor, single phase motor, single phase induction motor is not self-starting. That is self-starting motor. That is starting and provide mod back. Now, we will see the auxiliary arrangement. One method is to use an auxiliary starting winding. This auxiliary starting winding is the rotor. We have the rotor initially to get the speed and the initial push to get the start. That is the provide mode. The rotor rotates at a speed determined by the frequency of the alternating current applied to the stator. Now, we have the frequency AC current and the stator is supplied by the stator. Rotor speed for a constant frequency supply to a two pole single phase motor, the magnetic field will alternate at this frequency. इल्ले ना वो ये तो frequency तो AC current ना आदि के supply मारती हुई, अदे frequency इल्ले अल्ली produce आरंभ था magnetic field कोड़ा alternate आकता ही रहते, change आकता ही रहते। ये रण रण तो frequency AC supply तो अदे तरह produce आरंभ था magnetic field इधो frequency same ही रहते। this speed of rotation of the magnetic field is termed as the synchronous speed. यहाँ वास speed अल्ले आ magnetic field rotate आता ही रहे, AC current frequency में लादो depend आगे रहते, आ speed अन्ना ना वो synchronous speed अंतक करते भी। Rotor will never quite match this frequency of rotation, typically differing from it by about one to three percentage. Single phase induction motor अल्ले यावत तो सहा rotor ये फ्रीक्वेंसी है ना मैच मार्ट कंडो रोटेट आगलिक साध्य आगला 
सो मैग्नेटिक फील रोटेशन स्पीड ऐन सिंक्रोन स्पीड ऐन अदिंत कड़मे स्पीडल रोटेट आगता यू आ डिफरेन्स अवंतु वन टू थ्री पर्सेंट डिफरें सिसम डिफरे अंद्रे रोटर मत मैग्नेटिक फील रोटेशन स्पीड ऐन सिंक्रोन स्पीड मध्य डिफरें ना स्ली अंत करती वीडियो मुखातर सिंगल फेज फ्यूल के इंडक्शन मोटर यहाँ रीति वर्क आगते नोड़ सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर्स रिक्वयर जस्ट वन पवर् फेज फॉर इट्स आपरेशन They are found in domestic as well as industrial use. Main components of single phase motors are as follows: a rotor, which is a rotating part, a stator winding, which is stationary. It has got two parts: one main winding, and one auxiliary winding. Auxiliary winding is placed perpendicular to the main winding. A capacitor is connected. In auxiliary winding, let's assume there is only one coil in main and auxiliary winding. To understand its working better, assume no current is flowing through auxiliary winding. AC current passing through main winding will produce a fluctuating magnetic field. Working a single phase induction motor is simple. Just put one rotor, which is already rotating, inside such a magnetic field. You can note one interesting thing: the rotor will keep on rotating in the same direction. The reason is as follows: the fluctuating field is equivalent to sum of two oppositely rotating magnetic fields. This concept is known as double revolving field theory. Effect of rotating magnetic field on rotor is interesting. Since magnetic field is varying, electricity is induced in rotor bars due to electromagnetic induction. So here is a situation of current carrying bars are immersed in magnetic field. This will produce a force according to Lorentz law. So rotor will start rotating. But here we have got two such oppositely rotating magnetic fields, so torques produced by them will be equal and opposite. Net effect will be zero torque on rotor, so rotor won't start; it will simply buzz. But if we can somehow give this rotor an initial rotation, one torque will be greater than other. There will be a net torque in same direction of initial rotation. As a result, the loop will keep on rotating in the same direction. This is the way single phase induction motors work. But one big problem remains: how to provide such an initial rotation. Nikola Tesla, a famous Yugoslav inventor, suggested one ingenious solution to this problem. If we can cancel any of the rotating fields, we will be able to start the motor. The auxiliary winding cum capacitor arrangement is used exactly for this purpose. Auxiliary winding also produces two oppositely revolving magnetic fields. One of them will cancel RMF of main winding, and other will get added up. Resultant will be a single magnetic field which revolves under specific speed. Such a magnetic field can give starting torque to the rotor, or the motor will self-start. After the rotor has attained a specific speed, even if you cut the auxiliary winding, it will keep on rotating as explained earlier. This cutting action is done through a centrifugal switch. That's all about working of single phase motors. Thank you. Through this video, we have seen how a single phase spiral gauge induction motor works. Now we will move on to the next type of induction motor, that is three phase induction motor. 
It has a stator with three windings located 120 degree apart, each winding being connected to one of the three lines of the supply. Three phase connection and the three phase lines are the three lines are the three phase stator windings are the three phase induction motor and the three phase induction motor. Because the three phases reach their maximum currents at different times, the magnetic field can be considered to rotate around the stator poles, completing one rotation in full cycle of the current. Three phase early, maximum current reach a godo, bare bare time gala lagro karna, a magnetic field and an hour rotating magnetic field and the consider madlikagate, agagi, a rotating magnetic field kuda, one complete rotation and a yava go on the current full cycle complete madato other jotegene, complete madate. The rotation of the field is much smoother than with the single phase motor. Single phase motor in the Improved version of magnetic field rotation and now we three phase induction motor only can like sadhya ire yakin tundra ili mooru separate agi phase gali ke connect agi vantha mooru winding sire mooru alu koda 120 degree apart agi vantha supply supply current supply agate the three phase motor has a great advantage over the single phase motor of being self starting Single phase induction motor gado, self starting motor gada la, but three phase induction motors are self starting. This is the advantage over the single phase induction motor. Iga, e three phase induction motor yavariti worka gata yana dana nao, e video mulaka. Induction nao. motors are the most commonly used electrical machines. They are cheaper, rugged, and easier to maintain compared to other alternatives. In this video, we will learn the working of a three-phase squirrel cage induction motor. It has two main parts, stator and rotor. Stator is a stationary part, and rotor is the rotating part. Stator is made by stacking thin-slotted, highly permeable steel laminations inside a steel or cast iron frame. Winding passes through slots of stator. When a three-phase AC current passes through it, something very interesting happens. It produces a rotating magnetic field. To understand this phenomenon much better, consider a simplified three-phase winding with just three coils. A wire carrying current produces magnetic field around it. Now, for this special arrangement magnetic field produced by three-phase AC current will be as shown at a particular instant. With variation in AC current, magnetic field takes a different orientation as shown. From these three positions, it's clear that it's like a magnetic field of uniform strength rotating. The speed of rotation of a magnetic field is known as synchronous speed. Assume you're putting a closed conductor inside it. Since the magnetic field is fluctuating, an EMF will be induced in the loop according to Faraday's law. The EMF will produce a current through the loop. So, the situation has become like a current carrying loop is situated in a magnetic field. This will produce magnetic force in loop according to Lorentz's law. So, the loop will start rotating. A similar phenomenon happens inside an induction motor also. Here, instead of a simple loop, something very similar to a squirrel cage is used. Three-phase AC current passing through stator winding produces a rotating magnetic field. So, as in the previous case, current will be induced in bars of squirrel cage, which is shortened by end rings, and will start rotating. That's why it's called an induction motor. Electricity is inducted in the rotor by magnetic induction rather than direct electric connection. To aid such electromagnetic induction, insulated iron core lamina are packed inside the rotor. Such small slices of iron make sure that eddy current losses are minimum. This is another big advantage of a three-phase induction motor. It is inherently self-starting.
So, you can see here that both magnetic field and rotor are rotating. But, at what speed will the rotor rotate? To obtain this answer, let's consider different cases. Consider a case where the rotor speed is the same as the magnetic field speed. Since both are rotating at the same speed, the rotating loop will always experience constant magnetic field. So, there won't be any induced EMF and current. This means zero force on rotor bars. So, the rotors will gradually slow down. But as it slows down, rotor loops will experience a varying magnetic field. So, induced current and force will rise again. And the rotor will speed up. In short, the rotor will never be able to catch up with the speed of the magnetic field. It rotates at a specific speed, which is slightly less than synchronous speed. The difference between synchronous and rotor speed is known as slip. Rotational mechanical power is transferred through a power shaft. In short, in an induction motor, electrical energy is entered via stator and output from motor. Mechanical rotation is received from rotor. Energy loss during motor operation is dissipated as heat. So, a fan at the other end helps in cooling down the motor. Hope you got a good introduction on the working of induction motors. Thank you. Through this video, we have seen how a three-phase induction motor develops its rotational energy. Now, we will move on to the discussion about the third type of AC motor that is synchronous motor. Synchronous motors have stators similar to induction motors but a rotor which is a permanent magnet or an electromagnet excited by a separate DC supply. Synchronous motor on one thing, stator will be similar to induction motors. Induction motor will be similar to the stator will be similar to the stator. आदरे इल्ल यूज मार्ग में था रोटर है नी दे अद वन दो परमानेंट मैग्नेट आगे रहते इल्ला अंतर्द्रय सेपरेट आगे वन दो डीसी सप्लाई इंदा एक्साइट आगे वन था वन दो इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट आगे रहते द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द स्टेटर रोटेट्स स्टेटर प्रोड्यूस मार्ग में था मैग्नेटिक फील्ड है � the rotor with permanent magnets or electromagnets turns in step with the stator field at the same rate. In the characteristic synchronous motor, the rotor which is made of permanent magnets or electromagnets turns in accordance with the speed of the stator. Stator yava speed will rotate up today. Stator will rotate up magnetic speed field yava speed will rotate up today. Same speed will rotate up today. Rotor kuda rotate agathe. This is where the term synchronous motor comes from as the speed of the rotor of the motor is same as the rotating magnetic field. Rotating magnetic field the speed anna nao synchronous speed anta helthi vi. Adhe speed anna rotor kuda rotate agathe kaanadhi nda agi na vi motor na synchronous motor anta karithi vi. Synchronous motors are inherently not self-starting. Single phase induction motor alli nao nodidvi, avu not self-starting. Andre, initially, vekaranta starting torque anna produce maad vekaranta hedidre, adhi kundu initial push anna kodu vekaagutte, adhe thara synchronous motor galilu kuda self-starting alde ero kaanad dindagi, adhi ke initially ondhu starting anna kodli koskara yavadar anna auxiliary arrangement anna nao maad vekaagutte. The speed of operation is in synchronism with the supply frequency and hence for constant supply frequency they behave as constant speed motor irrespective of the load condition. Illi now gamani spekarantha innon dham shayyanantha hedhidhre synchronous motor gala speed yavaglu load mele depend agalla. Adhra speed yenidhru kuda depend agavantha du one day one du factor mele adhi yavadun tha hedhidhre supply voltage दु frequency एनिदे अधर मेले depend आगत्ते so अधिक्के equal आगिर वन्ता speed अन्ना इस synchronous motor गडु develop माड़त्ते अधकारणे दिन्द अधन नावु constant speed motor अन्त करित्तीवी अधर speed 
ಲೋಡ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತಹ ರಿಲೇಶನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಪರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಎನಿ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಪವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಈ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ಗಳಿಗೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ವಾಚ್ ಎ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಎ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಇರ್ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮಷೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೈ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ and are mainly used in high precision applications the constant speed characteristic is achieved by interaction between a constant and rotating magnetic field rotor of synchronous motor produces constant magnetic field and stator produces revolving magnetic field the field coil of stator is excited by a three phase ac supply This will produce a revolving magnetic field which rotates at synchronous speed. Rotor is excited by a DC power supply so it acts like a permanent magnet. Alternatively, rotor can also be made of permanent magnet. Interaction of rotor and RMF is interesting. Assume you are giving an initial rotation to the rotor with same direction of RMF. You can see that opposite poles of RMF and rotor will attract each other and they will get locked magnetically. This means that rotor will rotate the same speed of RMF or rotor will rotate at synchronous speed. Synchronous speed can easily be derived as follows. This means that if one has got control over frequency of the electricity, speed of synchronous motor can be very accurately controlled. But if the rotor has got no initial rotation, situation is quite different. North pole of the rotor will obviously get attracted by south pole of RMF and will start to move in the same direction. But since the rotor has got some inertia, this starting speed will be very low by this time south pole of rmf will be replaced by a north pole so it will give repulsive force as a net effect rotor won't be able to start or synchronous motors are not inherently self starting to make synchronous motors self start a squirrel cage arrangement is cleverly fitted through pole tips At the starting rotor field coils are not energized so with revolving magnetic field electricity is induced in squirrel cage bars and rotor starts rotating just like an induction motor When the rotor has achieved its maximum speed rotor field coils are energized So as discussed earlier poles of rotor gets locked with poles of RMF and will start rotating at synchronous speed. When rotor rotates at synchronous speed, relative motion between squirrel cage and RMF is zero. This means zero current and force on squirrel cage bars. Thus it will not affect synchronized operation of motor. Synchronous motors will produce constant speed irrespective of motor load only if the load is within the capability of motor if external torque load is more than torque produced by the motor it will slip out of synchronism and will come to rest low supply voltage and excitation voltage are other reasons of going out of synchronism it is interesting to note that synchronous motor has got the same constructional features of an alternator Synchronous motors also helps in improving overall power factor of the system. That's all about working of synchronous motors. Thank you. With this video we have understood how a synchronous motor works. Finally, we will see what are the applications of alternating current motors.
we can see ac motors in various home appliances as well as industrial appliances ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿ ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೀಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ವೇಯರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನರ್ ಗಳು ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ ನ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಹಾಗೆ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಲಿಕ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಪಂಪ್ಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಫೈನಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟೇಶನ್ ಎಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಮರೈಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಷ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ಸ್ what are its various categories series wound motor shunt wound motor compound wound motor and finally separately excited motor and in the second part we have seen working of ac motors in ac motors we have seen the categories single phase induction motor three phase induction motor and synchronous motor and finally we have seen various applications of this ac motors so with this we are ending the session and it's the question time here comes the first question dash are electromagnets used to generate a magnetic field in a motor the options are a terminals b armature conductors c poles and d field coils you will see the answer answer is option d field coils they are electromagnets used to generate magnetic field in a motor now we will move on to the second question which of the following dc motors has separate supply for field and armature windings the options are a separately excited motor b series motor c shunt motor and d compound motor we'll go for answer answer is option a separately excited motor this has separate supply for field and armature windings now we'll see the question 3 which among the following has a very high starting torque a separately excited motor b shunt motor c series motor and d compound motor and the answer is option c series motor which has a very high starting torque among all the given options now here comes the fourth question in shunt wound dc motors field windings are connected in dash to the armature winding options are series parallel both series and parallel and none of the above we we'll go for answer the answer is parallel shunt wound dc motors field windings are connected in parallel to the armature windings and the fifth question is which of the following statements is true the statements are first one is the series wound motor is a constant speed motor and the compound wound motor has advantage of high starting torque and efficient speed regulation options only one only two both one and two d none we'll see the answer answer is only two second statement is the correct statement now we'll see the sixth question which of the following pairs is currently matched induction motor less than synchronous speed synchronous motor equal to synchronous speed a one only 
D two only, C both one and two, D none. Now we will view the answer. The answer is both one and two. Both the pairs are currently matched. Induction motor has less than synchronous speed, while synchronous motor has equal to synchronous speed. Now the next question is. In induction motors, usually squirrel cage type structure is given for which of the following? A. Rotor B. Housing C. Stator D. Field windings The answer is A. Rotor Rotors has squirrel cage type structure The eighth question comes which type of structure is given to stator of the induction motor to reduce eddy current losses? Option A, long bars. Option B, long cylinder. Option C, squirrel cage. And option D, laminated stamping. We will go for the answer. Answer is option D, laminated stamping. This is done for reducing the eddy current losses. Now the ninth question is which among the following AC motors is a zero slip motor? Option A synchronous motor, option B three phase induction motor, option C single phase induction motor and finally option D all the above. You will see the answer. It's option A synchronous motor which has a zero slip. And the final and twelfth question, which among the following AC motors is an inherently self-starting motor? A. Synchronous motor B. Three-phase induction motor C. Single-phase induction motor And D. All the above Now we will go for the answer It's three-phase induction motor which is inherently self-starting with this we have completed all these questions and this is the list of contributors who have successfully contributed for the completion of this session. Thank you.